Hey guys, what's up? A very, very warm welcome to all of you. I hope all you guys are having a very good day going on. I am super excited because yesterday I couldn't meet you because of some technical issues and network issues. But today I was like, I am not gonna miss today no matter what. So I am back here guys with an amazing science print session for grade 7 specifically electricity and circuits chapter because I know that you guys had a lot of doubts on this chapter. Don't you worry because all of that we're going to be clarifying like this in this session guys. So this is a sprint series. Get ready to sprint with me today. Uh, we'll be having mind map, we quiz, uh, some previous year questions, also subjective questions. Sub kuch hai. Sub kuch hai. <laughs> <laughs> so again, a very warm welcome to my class. My, if, if you do not know uh, who I am, it's okay. My name is Mohan, Master Teacher of Science from Vidantu, and a very warm welcome to Vidantu Young Wonders. If you are new here, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like right now. Right now, right now. Everybody. Yeah, what's up, guys? What's up? Hi, Nuzrat. Hi, uh, Nilanshu. Hi, Saptak. Uh, hi Harvey, hi Sanjana, hello, 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 good, hey Renu Singh, good evening, good evening, wonderful evening, good evening. What's up people, what's up, what happened to yesterday, network issues? My Wi-Fi wasn't working yesterday guys, I couldn't come, sorry. Hey Rahi, hello, hello, hi Manha, what is up, what is up? <laughs> okay, so let us see, let us see, let us go forward with this amazing slide which is not working, it's working now. Okay, Sprint X, yes! Zoop! That is the Sprint series that we're going to be doing right now, guys. And don't you forget, we have a week quiz by the end of the class to check how much you guys have learned today. Okay, so if you are right now, here in my class, Wait till the end because I want you to see your name on the leaderboard. Trust me, you can get your name on the leaderboard. Okay, you will, you will. Don't, don't worry. You can take a screenshot, you can show it to everybody. Hey, dude, look at that. I am on the leaderboard, bro. It's on YouTube, bro. That's my name, bro. You can show it to your friends. Now, what is this? You can flex it can flex <laughs> all right so those of motivation dreams don't work unless you do yes just dreaming is not going to do anything guys work towards it okay just dreaming that one day i am gonna have a lamborghini no work towards it work towards it so that you can you can get your own lamborghini all right don't just dream lamborghini no work towards it okay <laughs> that's a nice song by the way all right Let's go forward. Let's go forward. All right. Look at this amazing, amazing mind map that we have for all of you guys. Okay. I want you guys. I hope you guys can see it. If not, make your screen bigger. Like if it is in portrait, make it, make it landscape and watch this session. Okay. Uh, <laughs> now let's see. What do we have? All right. So this chapter starts off with electricity and circuits, right? Now this is a continuation of what you have learned in your grade six. In your grade six, you might have learned about uh, electric current. What is electric current? What is that? What is this? All of that you would have learned. This is the next part of it. Where we'll be learning about electricity and the circuits. Okay. Now in this, we all know that electricity is something which we cannot live without, right? It's very, very important because everything in our house works with the help of electricity. Isn't it? Everything. Look around you. Nowadays, cars, bikes. Everything works on electricity. Exactly, right? So it's very important. Now, in that, we also know that we have to carry electricity everywhere we go, like in our phones, in our watch. So how is that possible? Because that is possible with the help of a, a source of electricity called as electric cell. Okay, electric cell is the source of electricity which was invented by Alexandro Volta. Alexandro Volta was the person who invented the first voltaic cell. Okay, and uh, it, the cell has two terminals. One is the positive, other one is the negative. Right, exactly. Next, what is a bulb? So instead of all this, you know, what we will do right now is, you guys know I'm a very good artist. Do you know that I'm a very good artist, people? Do you know that I'm a very good artist? Yes or no? 
<laughs> like I am super good. You guys don't know. Today you guys will know. See, today you see. Today you see how amazing uh, art is. I am. <laughs> Let's make some diagrams and try to understand, guys. You guys want to help me identify what I'm drawing, okay? So uh, let's say, let's say what I'm drawing right now. Tell me what this is, okay? Mm -mm 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 -mm. What is this? What is this? Let's see who can, who's the smartest one in the class. What is this, people? Wow! Look at me. <laughs> a bulb exactly it's a bulb now what we're gonna do is bulb has a small filament inside you know what is a filament a thin wire like this inside the bulb you might have all seen it right ha this is a bulb right now now bulb is what guys we'll, we'll just write bulb is also the source of source of what source of electricity is bulb the source of electricity bulb is the source of light right roshan is, is that what light is called in hindi roshan dhoop dhoop is sunlight roshan light okay source of light <laughs> now where is our uh, let's say if you guys can guess what this is what is this quick quick people quick this is if if i write the brand name you will be able to find brand name is here dora cell you know dora cell <laughs> for some reasons i cannot reveal the real name but i know you guys know what is dora cell so we have dora cell right here now this is a cell right and cell is the source of is the source of current or electricity right is the source of electricity of course great now what if i have to connect this cell with the bulb what do i need guys what do i need if i have to make this bulb glow what would i need I would need some set of wires exactly. So I will take one wire, attach it to the positive terminal of the cell. This is positive. This is negative, and connect this wire to one terminal of the bulb here. Now one is done. Will the bulb glow now? Will the bulb glow, people? No, right? The bulb would not go. So would not glow. <laughs> I need one more wire. I'll take one more wire from here. Zoop, 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 zoop. Ta-da! What will happen now? The bulb would definitely glow right now because what is happening, guys? I want you guys all to understand right now what is happening because current, current is flowing. Where is current flowing? Current is flowing in this entire. What is it called as? The entire circuit. Now, now comes a question. But sir, what is a circuit? Circuit is a path in which current flows. So this is your path. The path in which the current flows. Understood? Very simple. Very simple. Now this circuit is closed, guys. Because let's say current. How does current flow from positive to negative? Let us track how current is flowing. We'll track it. ठीक है हम लोग अभी current को track करने वाला है ठीक है चलो देखते हैं now the current starts flowing from positive terminal चचाक okay it reached here now where does it go again reached here then and comes back now the current is able to flow from the positive terminal back to the negative terminal without any break it is not at all disturbed so can we tell that the bulb will definitely glow guys Ding. because the filament is glowing 
Yes, obviously. So can we call this circuit is a closed circuit? So closed circuit means the current flows from your positive terminal to the negative terminal completely. It's a closed circuit. So closed circuit we have. Now what if I break this wire here guys? Chuck. Will the bulb glow now? If I break the wire, will the bulb glow? No. Why? Because the current is not flowing. There is no flow. If there is no flow, there is no. No flow means no. No. Come on guys, song. No flow. No glow. <laughs> so no glow. Okay, it's an open circuit. This type of circuit is called as a open circuit. Understood guys. Very simple everybody. Very, very simple. How does the cell generate electricity? So what is there inside the cell is inside the cell, we have a lot of chemicals. Okay, now due to chemical reaction happening inside the cell, it is able to produce electricity. Understood? Because of chemicals. Chemical energy works. Correct, correct people, correct. This is, I hope this is clear to everybody. Very good. Now, this is very complicated to understand. Because see, not everybody is a good artist like me, no. In that case, this right here is a real diagram, right? We need some graphical representation. We need some pictorial representation. Because not everybody is a, you know, Da Vinci like me. So what can we use? In such cases, we use something called as people, what is it? Something called as, what is it? Tell me quickly. Circuit. Circuit diagram. What is a circuit diagram? Circuit diagram is a pictorial representation of your circuit, that's all. By using some symbols. Okay, by using some symbols. So we have to learn what are the symbols, right? What are the symbols that we have? First, for cell. Cell ka symbol, we have one long line, one short thick line. This is a cell. The longer line indicates your positive terminal. The shorter line indicates your negative terminal. Okay, now tell me what this is. Long line, short line. Long line, short line, long line, short line, long line, short line. What is this? This right here is your battery. Very good. So more than one cell, we call it as battery. And how to connect a battery? A battery has to always be connected with cells with opposite terminals. See, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. Always opposite terminals have to be connected. Okay, then for wire, for wire we use just lines, just lines, okay. So cell we did, battery we did, wire we did. Now comes one more. Tell me what this is. What is this? This right here is your switch. And this is a open switch or switch is in the off position. Off or it is open. Okay, now this, when, when switch is on, when switch is on, it will be like this. This is an on switch or closed switch. Easy, very easy people. So you remember this diagram here, remember this diagram? Now we'll draw a circuit diagram for it. Oh, one more symbol we forgot. One more very beautiful symbol for bulb. For bulb we have this is a symbol for bulb. Crystal clear everybody. Simple. Simple. Okay. Let's draw the circuit for it. Okay. We have a beautiful bulb. First was the bulb that we connected, right? Okay. Bulb is ready. Next we had a cell. Okay. Cell is also ready. Now we have to connect. Let's also include a switch. Let's connect it. We use wires. Connected. Now let's use a switch. Okay. 
okay simple so now what all we have we have a bulb we have a cell we have a switch now will the bulb glow guys will the bulb glow will the bulb glow the bulb will not glow because the switch is off if you connect this together if you connect this together then the bulb will glow okay keep this in your mind switch is very easy now what we're going to do is what if what if i instead of using a switch i take an iron nail and connect it will the bulb glow guys will the bulb glow the bulb would definitely glow because iron nail is a conductor so conductors are objects which allow electric current to flow through them those are conductors instead of iron nail okay suppose if i take if i take uh, what what shall we take if i take a uh, If I take a earbud, <laughs> I couldn't think of anything else. Huh? If I take a earbud, will the bulb glow? A uh, ear swab? No, right? Because it's made up of cotton and plastic, which is an insulator. So insulators are materials which do not allow electric current to flow through them. Simple as that. So have we covered everything in this chapter? Pretty much yes, because. whatever is there here we have all covered it people yes boom boom game over okay so we learned about what is electric cell a uh, bulb ka filament is one more important thing guys i forgot to tell you inside the bulb there is a thin wire right that thin wire is made up of a metal called as tungsten so whenever electric current flows in the tungsten it glows bus uh, electric current we saw it flows from positive to negative and electric switch we saw to electric switch is used to either close the circuit or open the circuit that we saw then conductors and insulators also we saw simple okay look at the bulb conductors insulators electric switch electric circuit now let's go for some short type uh, short answer types we will solve some of your questions which you guys have got in your uh, exams once we solve it you will be thorough in this chapter then we can go for the week quiz what say people what say hi vritika hi renu why do you always come after my exam <laughs> ayyo yo what to do and and so much so much diagram sided my throat is dry ha huh? You know how many likes I have? Nine likes, eighteen likes. Come on, not enough. Come on, hit the like button, everybody. Once we cross fifty likes, we will go with short answer types. Let's go, everybody. Come on, liking is free. Ah, huh? what is this? Huh? Hit the like button. Okay. First question. Give any difference between a cell and a battery. A cell is a single component. Battery is a group of cells. Right? Exactly. So cell has only one plate as positive and one plate as negative. while battery is a combination of cells in series okay can have many plates why does one remove the plastic coating on of, of connecting wires before making circuits why do you have to remove that plastic coating on the wire because plastic is an insulator it will not allow electric current to flow through it so to prevent to help us from not getting shock all the wires are covered with plastic if i can show you all the wires are covered with plastic so that even if you touch nothing will happen but when you have to connect it what do you want to do when you have to connect it you will have to take it and then you will have to connect it okay great now why does cell stop producing electricity after some time because all the chemicals are khatam tata bye bye So after some time, all the chemicals in the electric cell are used up. Thus, no chemical reaction takes place to produce electrical energy. कुछ नहीं, nothing will come. Exactly. What is an open circuit? Does the current flow in it? No. Open circuit means the switch is in off position. 
no current is flowing in the circuit the, uh, so obviously the bulb will not glow right the circuit in which arrangements of components is disturbed in any way or electric contact of any point is broken that is called as open circuit now electric current does not flow in the open circuit as the path required for flowing the circuit should be completed okay simple questions so what is all this i yeah you 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 guys will get sent them only how can you explain that the human body is a good conductor of electricity because water is a good conductor of electricity human body is made up of water guys okay if you stand barefoot on the ground and touch electric wire brrr, we will get shock <laughs> all right so that is because human body is a conductor of electricity because our body is mainly made up of water that's why now some long type answers some long type answers are you all ready are you all ready there will be v quiz with vartika yes there is v quiz after this okay all right people explain how does electric current flow in the electric circuit very simple right an electric current flows from the positive terminal to the negative terminal of the cell in the circuit through connecting wires the current flows only when the circuit is complete that is all the connection should be intact okay but when when the circuit when the wires are broken and there is uh, if they are not properly connected then the circuit will be incomplete current will not flow in the circuit okay great what is the circuit name its different components and draw label diagram of the circuit we already did it circuit is a path along which electric current flows it is made up of various electrical components what are the electrical components we talked about cell or a battery which is the source of electricity electric switch which is used to either connect or disconnect the circuit bulb source of light uh, right all of that is what we saw and then other things on the other hand when bulb does not glow that means circuit is broken and the bulb glows circuit is uh, uh, closed right most important component of the circuit is the connecting wires to connect all the components together okay all this we just discussed guys and this is the circuit you have a switch here a cell a lamp or a bulb there is circle missing that's all graphite pencil nib is a conductor yes it it does conduct i will send this pdf on telegram yes mention different safety measures and precautions while using electricity and electrical appliances electricity is very useful to us it has made our life very comfortable easy luxurious on the other hand it is dangerous also oh my god it may cause great mishappenings injuries sometimes even death so we must adopt some safety measures and take precautions whenever we are dealing with electricity never touch electric switches or gadgets where your body is wet why why you should not touch it because i told you water is a good conductor of electricity right if you need to operate on repair or any electrical appliances wear rubber hand gloves stand on a dry wooden uh, plastic base never play with electric circuit sockets or wires in case of a uh, 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 short circuit uh, or a spark in the switch put the main switch off immediately with the help of plastic or wooden stick in the case of electric fires use the fire extinguisher okay okay let's go for the week quiz guys where do you find the week quiz link the week quiz link is there in the description if you go to the video right now scroll down for class 6 this is it click on this link oh, i th i thought it was class 7 class 6 yes and click on this link you will be able to join the week quiz everybody come on click on this link and join the week quiz guys everybody quick quick i want you all to join in how to join you all have to click on this link below the video once you click on this you will be able to join no no sab tak mercury is not a conductor it can it's a very good conductor of uh, heat also not electricity come on come on quick guys or if you are not able to join through that link you have to go to www.weekwiz.in and enter the code 228027 come on 
क्लास लीडर्स प्लीज स्पैम द कोड डबल टू एट जीरो टू सेवन Why is in silver used in electric ports? Even though it's a good conductor than aluminium, because silver is costly. See, for buying this uh, chain only, it is. I think it took it took me around it more than I don't know how much it is. So it's very costly. That's why we use aluminium, copper, which is which is less cheaper than, which is cheaper than gold and silver. Okay. Yes, as I'm waiting for everyone to join. Come on. Let's go. Let's go, people. What is this? Everybody have to join. Check your knowledge. Check how much you have learned today. Come on. Check how much you have learned today. Ready, sir? It's not coming. What is happening, Harvey? You will have to refresh, beta. See, I, I, I'll show you in front of you only. You have to copy this or just type www. Vquiz. कहाँ पे type करना है? Go to Google. ठीक है? Go to Google. Type here www. Vquiz. In. Enter. Now, what is it asking? Please enter your code. What is the code? Code is double two eight zero two seven. That is the code. Submit. Then you will have to log in. Log in is you will have to enter your Gmail ID, and then you can start playing the quiz. Simple. Simple. Okay. Very simple. Come on. I'll wait. I'll wait for a minute. Come on. And do we have enough likes? How many likes do we have? Ah yeah yeah. Twenty six sir. I told fifty at least. Come on, fifty. Fifty likes and we'll start the week quiz. Quickly, quickly. Fifty likes and we're gonna start the week quiz. Everybody, come on. Fifty likes ke baad ham log quiz shuru karne wala hai. Jaldi se aap log like button ko dabao. Like button ko click kar lijiye. <laughs> फिर हम लोग क्विज को शुरू करेंगे सर यू ऑल्सो लाइक द वीडियो आई बी दिफ्टी फर्स्ट पर्सन टू लाइक कम ऑन कम ऑन कम ऑन को एक लाइक्स लाइक्स कम से कम पचास लाइक्स होना जरूरी है इस क्विज को शुरू करने के लिए आपके पास बहुत कम समय है जल्दी से लाइक दबाओ <laughs> जल्दी से लाइक कर लीजिए फिर हम लोग इस क्विज को शुरू करने वाला है चलो सी हाउ गुड आई स्पीक आई हैव लर्न लॉट ऑफ हिंदी गाइस लाइक ऑलरेडी थर्टी टू कमा कमान कमा कमान हाय आकाश हाय शिव प्लेज हाय हर्षिता हेलो 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 इट्स मी Please start, sir. Fifty likes, thirty three likes. No, I'm not starting. Nope. Come on, quick. Sir, only twenty eight people. No, before you guys came, only there was twenty likes. So come on, we can do it. We can do it. Fifty likes, quick. Shaurya here, sir. New student. Hi, Shaurya. Hello. Hello. Do we have likes? Thirty-four. Thirty-four likes. Thirty-four likes only. Come on, come on, quick. Oh, hair fall. Huh? What is this, guys? <laughs> no brand promotion. No brand promotion is happening. Okay. Here comes your first question on the screen, guys. Let's go. Come on. Ten questions. Let's do it. Our body is dash. 
a good conductor of electricity sometimes good sometimes bad bad conductor none of this our body is dash quick come on easy question easy 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 peasy all right chai mark and the answer is a good conductor of electricity yes guys our body is a good conductor of electricity no great job next question on your screen but before that leaderboard we have saptak at the top very good saptak malik then we have garvit joshi lavya singh akshit mishra shaurya dhruvi and aruhi singh great job next question guys come on question number 2 out of 10 a bulb has dash two terminals and two filaments two terminals and a filament multiple terminals and single filament single terminal and a filament a bulb has dash let's go let's go come on quick quick let's go yes it has two terminals and one filament positive and negative and a tungsten filament inside it right very good job guys so let's see the leaderboard we have lavya garvit akshita saptak akarsh aruhi hirwa rupa shaurya and paishant great job next question on the screen question number 3 out of 10 which is an example of an insulator bakelite aluminium tap water all of this which is an example of insulator let's go let's go example of insulator insulator guys come on easy Time up. Bake light is an example of the insulator. Great job, guys. Option A is the bake light is a type of plastic, guys. Okay, so plastic is a type of insulator. Leaderboard: Garvit, Lavya, Akar, Shrupa, Aruhi, Akshita, Saptak, Shivan, Shirva, and Sanskriti. Great job. Next question. Question number four on your screen. Vardika, refresh. Filament of a torch bulb is dash. A metal case. Metal tip at the base of the at uh, the base. two thick wires a thin wire what is the filament of the bulb guys how does it look like come on come on quick 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 hit the like button guys hit the like button hit the like hit hit the like zor se like button ko hit karna hai <laughs> hit hit the like okay 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 so it is option d it's a thin wire tungsten right exactly now comes the next one guys leave ball leave ball everybody we have akarsh garvit aruhi akshita saptak lavya shivan shrupa shaurya sanskriti great job question number 5th the 5th question on your screen let's go cell is a device which converts chemical energy into electrical energy electrical energy into light energy electrical energy into magnetic energy none of this cell is a device which does what what a easy question this is what a easy question yes converts chemical energy into electrical energy guys come on option a is the right answer great job leaderboard miss click not a problem akarsh garvit aruhi lavya shivansh akshita shaurya saptak 22802 <laughs> somebody instead of name they have entered the number ayyo yo it's okay then we have rupa mahato great now comes your next question guys question number 6 here we go The bulb lights up only when dash. 
the cell bulb and the wires make a closed circuit there is a gap in the electrical path the path starts and ends up the same terminal of the cell the cell bulb wires make a open circuit come on the bulb lights up only when dash time up the bulb lights up only when the cell bulb and wires all together make a closed circuit good job leaderboard akash singh garvit aruhi love you shivan sakshita shaurya then that somebody and we have rupa and sanskriti great job guys question number 7 on your screen who is that somebody electrical charges that build up on the surface of the object by being rubbed in this by rub this called as dash electricity static dynamic both none of this when you rub something electricity is generated what is that type of electricity called easy easy come on all right and the right answer is option a static electricity yes electrostatic force guys heard about it good job we have uh, uh, akash shivansh garvit akshita aruhi lavya rupa shaurya and mokshit with along with that person who is that person somebody tell me in the comment section who are you mystery 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 person who are you kon hai question number 8 to prevent electric shock the metallic electrical wires are covered with what paper cotton aluminum plastic it's kian okay hi kian or oh, everybody is telling sir i am i am i am this is not fair don't don't take somebody else's credit guys is it swapnil or kian who is it to prevent electric shock the metallic electrical wires are covered with what tell me tell me quick they are covered with plastic because plastic is an insulator to prevent uh, from electric shock we have covered it with plastic we have akash shivansh akshita garvit aruhi lavya uh, 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 it's kian mokshit hirwa and rupa great job guys question number 9 on your screen let's go How many terminals are there in a dry cell? One, two, three, four. How many terminals? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Come on, quick! How many of you guys like that song? You guys like that song? One, two, three, four. Hit that dance floor. Hey, VC Gaming Boss, what's up? Okay. Time up. You guys like it? <laughs> it is two terminals. One is the positive, and the other one is the negative. Leaderboard. Hey, Krish, what's up? Akash, Shivan, Sakshita, Aruhi, Garvit, Lavya, Kian, Mokshit, uh, Hirva, and Shaurya. Great job. Here comes your one last question. Let's go. We are done, Swapnil. This is the last question. bulb glows only when dash circuit when, when when it's a closed circuit when it's a open circuit in both the circuit open circuit the bulb is not fused when will the bulb glow sir will you take when will you take your class 8 sessions on friday beta on friday we have for grade 8 yesterday is grade grade 7 on friday we'll take friday or saturday we'll take grade 8 check for the schedule see you guys will find the schedule in the channel if you go to this channel without the young wonders go to community post look at this today's schedule is here see aaj ka schedule boom oh nobody is hitting me ah huh? what is this ah huh? which session excites you the most nobody is liking my session only acha <clears throat> okay nobody wants to see my session okay okay 11% so sad Okay. <laughs> okay. Still eleven percent. Okay. 
सेवन और एट वोट बट जस्ट इलेवन परसेंट आई एम सैड गाइज आई एम सैड बहुत दुखी हूँ बहुत दुख हो बहुत दुख हो रहा है राइट ओके वन लेट्स सी द रिजल्ट गाइस लेट्स सी रिजल्ट हे वरुण व्हाट्स अप ओके फाइनल रिजल्ट गाइस फाइनल लीडर बोर्ड इट्स अ क्लोज सर्किट ऑफ कोर्स सो फाइनल लीडर बोर्ड ऑन द स्क्रीन वी हैव वी हैव आकाश आकर्ष वी हैव शिवांश एंड वी हैव अक्षिता ग्रेट जॉब पीपल यू गाइस ऑफ ऑल एंड वेरी वेल कंग्रेचुलेशंस टू ऑल ऑफ यू इफ योर नेम इज नॉट देयर नॉट टू वरी बिकॉज़ इट्स ऑल अबाउट लर्निंग एंड फन एब्सोल्युटली गुड ओके so if i see this next time no if i see only this many people want my session i am not coming only okay hit 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 make this make this more increase the percentage okay <laughs> thank you love ya yeah. all right guys so we'll definitely meet up in the coming class i hope all of you had fun do not forget to share this video with all of your friends um, let, let let them also prepare so uh, until then guys yes this is me mohan signing off All well, of you, take care. Stay safe. Stay as lovely as always. You guys are okay. Bye bye. Take care.